straight sherry to here. Um, if you want to know what's going on, uh, let's see. This is my four channel MB quartz. It does work, but I have a problem with one of the switches on the side. I think I got a loose solder connection, so it's something simple to fix. Um, I'm actually going to use this four channel amp inside my uh, truck because right now I have a two channel that's powering up both my door speakers and the subwoofer that's in the floor. Yeah. It's not really good, so I'm going to use this bad boy. Well, not really bad boy, but you know, something simple and small. I'm going to use, you know, two of the channels for the sub and the other two just for the door speakers. So that's what my plans are for this. And I got a sub volume control already inside my truck, so I can control this better. So I just have to figure out how to get this thing apart. Which don't look too bad, so. Like I said, I just got to get a part to fix the solder joint for that switch. Oh, if you hear something in the background, I'm actually watching Indiana Jones. <laughs> Let me get the stand set up, shall we? All right, uh, got everything set up. I'm something I have my eye on it too. If I don't, I got to take it to the box. I got my soldering iron hooked up. I had to swap out the tip for second times. Um, if you're wondering about the radio, I use that for testing, and well, it's also <laughs> everything else. Let's see how to get this part, shall we? Oh, I got the right. Oh, oh. Mm. Yep, I'm going to have to dig to the box. I figured, huh? Whoops. <laughs> Some of this stuff around so I can get the box out. Then I move the camera around. Huh. I didn't realize that was in the camera view. That is. Where did I put those out? I do have a magnet tray, but uh, the magnet's being re glued to the tray. <laughs> this actually does still have a warranty on it, but it's probably already out of date because how long ago it's been. Yes, they put a Phillips head screw right there. Tiny little thing. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, it was this switch right here. Whenever you flicker it, it uh, it is cut in and out. Of
Contacts inside a bag. Pets are an important part of well, Contacts in it. Other than that, that's really it. So. Wasn't really much of a repair job. Hmm. Oh well. Let's just watch a little bit of speaker selection. or anything like that so oh well I wasn't really much of a repair job it just that switch needs to be a can you hear it <sighs> so 
so I gotta fix that. Okay. I just need to clean the contacts and see if it works out good. Apparently it was as simple as that. I got it fixed. Now it's not cutting it out no more. That's just low pass, that's the reason why. You notice I'm wiggling, it's not cutting it out. It's working again. Okay, so she needed. Uh, if you're wondering, I used. I didn't use uh, the electric cl electronic cleaner. The reason why is is because I noticed, especially the stuff that says fast drying. Um, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. It always ends up leaving a residue. So I use something else. It's similar to electric cleaner because my safe flow cleaner. Because it's safe for electronics as well, but it doesn't leave a residue on the electronics like that does. I've used it several times and my volume controls and stuff like that go right back to doing what they were doing. Um so I use my safe flow cleaner. Uh something you pick up at the parts store in the local town, you know, yada yada. Either way. I mean yeah, the stuff is a little high, but it cleans it good, doesn't leave a residue, you don't have to worry about the switch going back to what it was doing. So, mess up for the cleaner, for the win. Electronic cleaner, yeah. So, okay, that's fixed. That was a kind of a boring video, I was hoping, you know, be worse than that, but no, it wasn't, it was just needed cleaning. It's good to go now. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, I will keep posting videos. Well, since basically I don't have a job, I might as well post what I can and do what I can with literally little, little to no money. I'm just doing everything I have. Doing everything I can with what I have, with what have I got. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of gaming videos. At least I got that. Alright, so thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I don't think liking really helps. It just subscribe and watch the channel. Eh, there you go. That's all you got to do. Thanks for watching, though.